Hey guys, so I'm about to do my makeup and yeah. This is bare face. It literally looks like this is me. Y'all, I had to cut this nail. So this is what the nails look like. Let me take this off. This looks kind of weird. Anyways. So um this is what the nails look like. And I had to cut this now this is my first time having long nails I had to cut the nail off because this nail hurt so bad like I think I hit it and um it just started hurting really bad y'all I don't know how y'all girls do it with the long nails but I tried this nail hurt too bad so I told myself I ain't never doing this again it's cute. I probably will do it again. Who knows? But I don't know. As of, as of right now, I'm never doing this again because this hurts. Like, nails be sensitive. It's probably because I'm not used to having my nails done anyway. Like, I'm not used to really getting them done. So, like, you know, I do a little gel or, you know, regular nail polish. But I, I'm not used to just getting them done. So, it's probably because my stuff just sensitive because they're not broken in yet to the yeah guys i'm about to just do my makeup and talk about a couple of things because um because hold on because what we're not doing is this Never mind. Anyways, and just talk about some things. Um, the word in my head, that the word that I keep, the word that I am constantly hearing recently is envy. I'm hearing a lot of stories about people being envious. I can't really like relate to a lot of stories of people being envious or jealous because I find myself having a hard time truly being envious or jealous of someone. For the people that might struggle with jealousy or being jealous, I might can help you on how not to be envious or how, or how not to be jealous because at the end of the day, it's an easy fix. I've encountered a lot of jealousy I've encountered I've had those feelings where I'm like mm, I'm jealous but like it's never gotten to a point where I'm like disgusted by a person and like ew like I don't like them like I'm super jealous to the point where it's like harmful or like not even harmful but just where it gets to hate I don't think I really get to the point where I'm hating someone because I'm jealous of them. But I've encountered a lot of people hating me or hating others because of jealousy. By the way, if you guys want to know what concealer I'm using, I'm going to show y'all because this concealer is... I love this concealer, y'all. Like It's the best one that I've had that I've ever used. It's not gonna focus, but it's the NARS concealer, y'all. Get you one of these, okay? Let me put this on and then I'll be right back. I've got my concealer on. So what I what I was saying, so what was I saying? You're only jealous when you feel like someone has something or someone is experiencing something that you cannot attain or that you cannot experience. For instance, there are many people that could be jealous of the way someone lives, of the way someone looks, of the way someone acts, the way someone is talented, the way someone is creative, the way someone just lives, exists. And it's only because they're not confident enough in themselves to where they feel like they can be the same way. I feel like in order the, to change that around, you could easily turn your jealousy into inspiration. When someone has something that you want, instead of being, hold on y'all, bear with me because I'm trying to get this bronzer. 
instead of being jealous of it, be inspired by it. Look at the thing that they have and think, wow, I can attain this. Wow, that could be me one day because that's something that I'm interested in and that's something that I want. And let me see how they were able to obtain it. Because jealousy is just not going to get the problem solved, especially when you are wanting something or when you're intrigued or interested in something that the person have and that you don't have. I don't think jealousy or being envious of something is necessary. A lot of people are um, become jealous of people when they're growing, when they have create, when they have um, opportunity that's coming for them, um, when they. It's a it's a number of things that people can be jealous about, but I really completely feel like jealousy or envious is very unnecessary because you don't have to be you can spend your time you know putting that energy somewhere else like inspiration having that confidence in yourself that you know they can have it they may have it but i can get it too because anything and everything in this life is obtainable and you can if you just you know believe in yourself that you can get it and stay dedicated and also just working with the laws of the universe you can achieve anything a lot of people say that but don't really believe it you know so when you find that person that has you know things that you want look to see what did they do to receive it how can i follow what they did to receive the same outcome how can i get what they have you know um if the girl, for instance, if a girl looks really pretty, if she has like the, the, the hair is always done, the makeup's always done, outfits always look nice, and you really like the way she looks, you can easily go up to the girl instead of being like, ugh, like she thinks she all that or blah, 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 whatever the girls like to say, whatever the people like to say that are jealous. You can easily go up to her, be nice to her, ask her where she gets her stuff from, ask her what type of makeup does she wear, what, how do you get your hair like that, where did you get that dress from? So you can start to obtain some of the things that you like, that you want, you know, because obviously it's something that you like, so you might want similar things. So it's that easy, it's truly that easy, and I think a lot of people don't just don't understand the simplicity of just appreciating and admiring and not and spreading love and not hate literally that's pretty much it that's pretty much my goal in making this video because y'all i put way too much i look like a clown hold on let me fix this I almost had an epic fail with the makeup, but we revived it. It doesn't look that bad. You never can have too much blush. Anyways, yeah. Back to what I was saying. Basically, jealousy is a choice. You can choose to be jealous or inspired. And me, in order to what work what has worked for me, is just being inspired and also asking questions. Don't be afraid to want the things that someone else wants and asking them how they obtain how they obtain them. One thing I've realized being a girl is that we are so vulnerable and open. A lot of girls are very friendly, so like you can easily ask like, "Hey, where'd you get that dress?" you know. Da -da. No one is really thinking like, "Oh, she trying to be me." Like, da -da. like no one really thinks that. I don't at least I don't think that they do because I've never had that. Like, and then also even if they are like that, who cares? Like, I don't care. Why should you care about someone thinking that you're trying to be them? Like, you're ju you just simply are inspired by them. You simply like the things that they have. I don't necessarily care. When I'm asking people, you know, where'd you get that dress from? What, what blush do you use? Da -da 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 -da. Like, I'm not thinking about 
whether they think I'm trying to be them or not. And, and, and if I am, so I like your blush. I like your dress. I like your hairstyle. I like your earrings. I like your necklace. Like, I'm not afraid to just say that. And um, yeah, just don't be ashamed of that. You won't get jealous. You won't get jealous if you're constantly confident in your inspiration, confident in who you are. And not saying like genu generally confident in who you are, because I don't think everyone has that together, but just being confident in what you like and what you want to be like and not being afraid to just be creative and be inspired and do the things you want and have the things you want, you know. Anyways, I just think that that's my take on jealousy. That's my take on the reason why jealousy even exists. I could be completely wrong. I don't know. But from my experience, that's the reason why I think jealousy exists is because people feel like they can not obtain the things that they want. So instead, they just resort to just hating and being hateful and being mean you know because they feel like they can't have the things that some people have well with me i have an abundant thought pattern like i think everything is possible like i in my head i think anything is possible everything is like everything is achievable i think i can have everything and anything and everything in the world honestly that's just my thought process. So that's why I feel like I really can never genuinely be jealous of anybody. Because I'm like, okay, I can get that too. Period. I don't know. Maybe it's just delusion. Maybe it's confidence. I don't know what it is. But that's how I think. I'll be right back. I'm going to do my eyebrows. Put a little bit more powder blush on and some highlight. And I'm going to be right back. Okay. So now that I am done um with the highlight my eyebrows and all that y'all i don't do anything i don't really fill in my eyebrows i use um a brown lemon a blah, what i use a brow lemonade a brow gel there you go next i'm going to be doing the eyelashes um so yeah anyways what i was just talking about yeah just continuing basically continue being inspired by people don't let don't don't be jealous y'all have have a mindset of i can attain anything and um anything is possible and you won't be jealous of anybody or anything you know, you envy, jealousy would not even cross your mind at all. Do y'all see the difference? Like this mascara eats y'all. I really like this mascara. It's something about like doing your mascara and you not having the ability to talk anymore. <laughs> Cause I cannot talk and do mascara at the same time. So hold on one more second. Okay. I am done with the mascara. Okay. Anyways. Um, yeah, guys, I stopped like doing lash extensions a while ago. Like I used to do like the little, I used to get my lashes done and I just stopped doing it because it got to a point where I did not feel good without my lashes. Like, I didn't feel, like, cute. I felt, like, empty. I didn't feel good. Like, it was not it. And earlier this year, I think, no, not even earlier. It was, like, last year in October. I just decided I'm not going to wear any more lash extensions. I think after the... Lash, ex lash extensions, I started to do the clusters because I still felt like I was so empty without them. Like, I was like, you know, I do not feel good. I don't feel cute. I just feel so, like, ew, you know, without my lashes. And then I made myself, um, I made myself 
like myself without my lashes because i was like before like i was one of the girls that never got her lashes done like i was not doing that so like what now like getting your lashes done is definitely addicting but i was like how was i so confident without them so i need to get back to that point so i just made myself stop wearing lashes the most i would do is mascara and i've started to actually like just wearing mascara over getting my lashes done because mascara is just like i don't know like it made me really like my lashes again they're getting back healthy before they were kind of getting a little like um thin and like not as thick anymore but now that i've been taking care of my lashes they're getting back to how they used to be they're not all the way there but they're getting back there and um sometimes i'm like mm, i want my lashes done because i see like people on instagram and like them getting their lashes done and it'd be so cute i'm like oh my gosh i miss them but i i don't know it might be a while might not be who knows how i'm feeling but um yeah i'm really enjoying the natural face not like I, well, obviously i'm putting makeup on but i like the y'all know what i'm talking about okay okay so yeah lip liner is complete now i use the what do i use the the your lip glow reviver balm now this eats i really try not to get it on the lip liner because i just feel like um the lip liner kind of like smudges like it just doesn't give when you put whatever guys it did get on there a little bit but whatever then i go in with the um what is this Too faced lip injection this is so cute like this lip injection this freaking lip gloss is the cutest this is how it looks y'all it's not gonna focus but it's the lip injection Too faced lip gloss really cute it's a lip plumper, of course, because it has lip injection in the title of it. But and it does make your lips kind of tingle a little bit. I really love it. And then after that, I go in with the lip glow oil, the Dior, you know, the glow oil. I just put a little bit at the bottom. Move at the top. And yeah. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this little video of just me getting ready, doing my makeup, and talking about jealousy and lash extensions. <laughs> um I hope it was really interesting. I hope y'all even got this far in the video. Um, I'm not sure if this video is going to be long, but thank you for listening to me speak if, you know, you're still here watching. Um, I don't know. I just was thinking about envy. I was just, I kept hearing that word um, and I just wanted to talk about it because it's a word that I don't necessarily understand because I started to think deep in myself and I was like, you know, I've never really been envious of anyone. I've never been jealous of anyone. I've felt jealousy before, but it never lasted because it quickly is overpowered by my inspiration. Like I could see someone and be like, oh, I'm so jealous. Like, oh, she's just like living the life. And then I'm like, well, I'm living the life too. Like, how can I live more of my life? You know, like, how can I be, how can I live the life she's living? Or like, you know, it's like, I don't necessarily harbor on jealousy to the point where it makes me hate people. And so when I hear, you know, people actually hating people because of how jealous they are, it's like very foreign to me. If you do struggle with 
becoming jealous and being envious, maybe what I had to say could help you. Uh, all I know is I'm about to get off this camera now, so. Thank you so much for watching and I'm gonna see y'all in the next video. Thank y'all so much for supporting too. Like I've actually, I do wanna say this before I go, I've actually been growing so much on my channel and I'm just super, super, super grateful for all my new subscribers who watch my videos and who interacts with my videos. Um, thank y'all. Thank y'all so much for just clicking that little button down there and actually becoming a part of my circle and community and audience and support and just thank you like this is this is like making me extremely inspired and happy it makes me want to continue to create content for you it makes me just it makes me feel just very motivated to continue to make these videos when i see people interacting and when i see people actually liking my stuff it's like wow you know anyways thank you guys so much for watching